diagonal mesh stitch very pretty and it's diagonal because it goes this way it, it, it doesn't go straight like this it goes in an angle like this so it's very nice for shawls or scarves very very nice so I did two different ones this is with a size 8 knitting needles and you can see the difference this one is tighter than that one this is the same yarn it is a number 4 worsted yarn this is the same yarn but with a size 10 and a half needles so this is the way it goes it's a multiple of two and you always have a border stitch at the beginning and at the end so you're going to knit the border stitch now you're going to yarn over and knit two together through the back of the loops so you put your needle there and knit it through the back so yarn over and you knit it together through the back and this is row number one so if you're starting you do the same thing yarn over and knit together through the back of your loops yarn over and knit together through the back of your loops of your stitches yarn over and knit together through the back yarn over 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 knit together through the back and then you're going to knit the last one that's the border stitch so now on row number two you only purl so we're going to purl all your stitches and I have 20 so let's purl the whole thing and that's all you repeat row number one and row number two that's it and no problem you purl the whole thing And that's it. Isn't this neat? I made a very nice scarf with this when I was about 16. <laughs> and it was blue also, so I remember this very well. Okay, so this is the way it looks. A very nice open weave. That's with a size 8. That's with a size 10 and a half. You can see the difference. And thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and comment and like our videos. And I'll be seeing you soon.